This is a really key point. A lot of people are challenged with getting into a mode of focus. None of us, however, should be expected to just sit down and drop directly into a state of focus. I think that's completely an unfair request of ourselves. I mean, for instance, you wouldn't expect yourself to go out on the track or go out for a run and not warm up. You might jog for a few minutes or even walk before you would jog and then jog before you would run. And if you're doing resistance training, I doubt that you go over and load up the bar or the machine with the maximum amount of weight that you can move and then just drop right into that. You always do a warm up. And I think it's very important to understand mental work, focus, and concentration as requiring that warm up. What is that warm up? Is the ramping up or the increase of epinephrine adrenaline, acetylcholine, and dopamine. The way that neurochemicals work is we don't just get to flip switches in our brain because we decide to. That's a fantasy. That's sort of the, the limitless movie or um, you know movies and ideas that suddenly you know, you're going to flip a switch on your arm and all of a sudden you're going to be in a laser focus. That is just not the way that your nervous system works. There's a gradual dropping into any state, whether or not that state is sleep, right? You go from shallow sleep to deep sleep and then out eventually. Focus two, you go from shallow focus to increasingly deep focus. That is in our metaphor of the arrow, it's very broad. It's pointed at a lot of things. And over time, as we drop into focus, that arrow is narrowing and narrowing and narrowing. In fact, probably better to think about it narrowing and then sometimes oscillating and getting wider again. You know, we might hear something down the hallway or more typically our phone will buzz or we'll think, oh, I wonder what so-and-so is doing or I had to contact them about something. Your focus is dynamic. It is not what we call a step function. It's not like you go from unfocused to focus and then you drop into your maximal focus. By understanding that it's dynamic, by understanding that you are going to be continually going in and out of progressively but varying levels of focus, you will greatly release the pressure on yourself to feel focused all the time when you want to be. This is very key. People who are very good at focusing understand this and understand that they can't expect themselves to just immediately focus and then snap into or out of focus.